Hi everyone, this is Kathy Groskurth with Bookkeeping Clean and Simple here in Austell, Georgia near Metro Atlanta and today we're going to talk about the Advanced Bank Feeds feature in the newest versions of QuickBooks Desktop 2021 and these are highly anticipated features that many of us have been asking for before these improvements came about we were having to struggle with the bank feeds and this is why a lot of people like to switch to kbo because of the bank feeds feature in there was so much more robust but with this update you'll see that they have come a long way now i will mention that you have to turn these settings on in the preferences before you can start using them because they're not enabled by default the other thing that i need to let you know is that if you have any bank rules set up then those bank rules will not transfer over to the new platform you'll have to create those but you'll want to do that and i'll show you briefly why so let's go ahead and if you have not enabled those yet which i have in this file there's basically two ways to go about it you can go up here to edit and preferences to access the dialog box and I have two screens so I'm always having to move the the screen over so that you can see you want to open that up into checking into company preferences and at the bottom of the box you'll see that you have three choices and you have to actually click on the radio button for advanced mode in this little link right here will bring you to a support article which I will show you a bit later well, once you've made that selection you're going to click ok you can actually do the same thing under the banking center and go to bank feeds and then set up bank feeds for an account it opens up directly into the window as well so what we're going to do now is actually go to the bank feeds area now if you have at least one account set up you're going to be able to just go into the bank feeds and go into the bank feed center you can do it from the menu up above or you can actually do it from the bank feeds link in the left navigation under my shortcuts so i'm going to do that and when you do that and if you have used this very seldom or this may be your first time of using this this little bank feeds box will open up that will allow you to go through a tutorial of source but we're going to skip that right now you can also click on that radio to not show you that again but i suggest that you at least go through this if you've never used bank feeds before or if you want to get a high level overview of the banking center otherwise you can go ahead and click on skip which we're going to do now and that'll take you right into the banking center as you can see it has a very similar feel to QuickBooks Online's Banking Center. We have four areas here. We have the recognized, which are attempting to auto match or apply rules that may be in existence. We have partially recognized, which we don't really have anything in there, so it's showing zero. And we are in the checking account, by the way. We actually have two accounts connected, checking and savings. We have unrecognized, which you would go through and either add those or try to find matches. And then you have the ones that are added to the register. Okay. So let's go to recognize first, because you always want to work from left to right in, in most instances here. And say you have some things that are auto-matched. And if you wanted to confirm that, you can just click on confirm. But if you wanted to just double check before you actually do the com confirm, you can view the details. And that actually pops up a copy of the transaction so that you can review it. And if it's fine, you can just go ahead and go over here and click confirm. Otherwise, the other thing that you can do is you can say not a match. I would never do ignore because what this does is when you do not a match it throws it into the unrecognized area so that way you can deal with it in there so we know that that's in there so i wanted to show you what happens when you may mark it as not a match then you can actually go in here and the options in here are to either add more details or max to an existing transaction a little bit more robust here and again this opens up in my first window so I have to drag it over so what you can do here is you can search for amount payee or account so in this case 
We have uh, Nolan would be our search term. And then click on the enter button and that should bring that up. And we're looking at the amounts here to see. And then you can, and since we already know that this is true, we can go ahead and click on the check mark box in there. Then we can go ahead and save and add that to register from here. So just because it's saying that you can add something, just like in the QuickBooks Online Banking Center, you if you know that you've already entered that in there and need to match that, then you can. So now it's showing Add to Register, and it's in there. And then we can go in here and handle the rest of these. So we can actually just, uh, at this point, we would have our source documents handy. We can click on, like I said, we can either view details, not a match, or ignore. Or if we've already determined that this is true, we can go ahead and click on confirm. And then I'll probably spend some more time in a future tutorial on rules, so I'm not going to worry about that right now. But I do want to show you the rules area. And right now, and, and, and that's where we're in a sample file, so it's not really showing any rules. But basically, you would add rules similar to what you would do in QuickBooks Online. And I'm going to move that over here. So you would name the rule, and then you would either have money in or money out. So everything pretty much similar to what you would do in QuickBooks Online when working with rules. The only thing that I see in here that you cannot do is to set it up to auto add, which I don't like to turn on anyway at first because I want to see how the rule is going to work before I turn that feature on. So it's better off to not have the auto add. So I'm, I'm not too picky about that. I'm really glad. So I'm going to go ahead and exit out of these. But anyway, as you can see, very similar in feel. You can also add an account over here, which they won't let us do in the sample file because we're in a sample file. So very similar to the feel of QuickBooks Online's Banking Center, much improved. Uh, you can click on this little icon over here to update the, the feeds at any time. So anyway, I hope this helps you today. And I did promise I would show you that page. So let me go over here. So from that link that I was talking about earlier, this is the actual support article that pops up when you are looking to find out more information. I will copy this link and see if I can put it somewhere where you can see it. But yes, you definitely would have this bookmark so you can go through here and learn all you can about this feature. Anyway, I hope this helps you today. Take care, everyone, and have a wonderful day. And Happy New Year to everyone. Hope you have a great start to 2021. Thank you for watching. I would love it if you would like and subscribe to my channel as well as share it with others. I am adding on average one video per week, including the occasional motivational video. I would love nothing more than to help you maximize your usage of QuickBooks desktop and online. My email is below as well as the number where you can text me for more information and to set up an initial consult. Thank you so much and have a wonderful day.